Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the drum machine in BandLab, part two. Tap on the plus icon. Then tap on the drum machine on the pop-up menu. Drum machine now opens with a beat menu. You can tap on empty if you want to create your own beat from scratch, or click on one of the five beat options if you want a ready-made beat, which you can modify if you want. Here I will tap on Classic House. In the step grid, you can see there are already notes added. Tap on the play icon to play the beat. Tap on the stop icon to stop the beat. The strip next to the play icon shows the currently selected beat pattern. The white rectangle is around the currently selected beat grid. Tap to the left or right of the white triangle to change the selected grid bar, or drag the rectangle left or right. Tap on the bars drop list and tap on one bar, two bars or four bars to change the number of bars in the beat pattern. Tap on the pattern letter to change to another beat pattern. Each pattern can be a different bar length. There are eight pattern slots but the ready-made beats are only in patterns A and B. To create more patterns, tap on a blank pattern letter. Here I will click on C. Tap on a step to add a note. Tap on the note to delete the note. To change the velocity of a note, tap on the velocity icon. Then tap on the note to change the velocity. Each tap cycles between three velocity settings. Full velocity, low velocity, and normal velocity. Tap on the velocity icon again to return to the step mode. Low velocity notes are darker than the normal velocity notes. Full velocity notes are brighter than the normal velocity notes. Each bar is made up of four beats and each beat is split into four steps with a number above the on beat step. Swing adds a delay to the second and fourth steps of each beat. Tap on Swing and drag the dot on the swing slider right to increase the delay or left to reduce or turn off the delay.
100% swing creates the classic train track beat. Tap on the drum kit name to change the drum kit. Then tap on another drum kit name. Tap on the three dots. And tap on clear to remove all the notes from the beat pattern. Tap on the three dots and tap on copy. Then tap on another pattern letter. Tap on the three dots again and tap on paste to copy the pattern. Each row plays a different sound. Tap on the sound icon and tap on a different sound icon on the pop-up list to change the row sound. Tap on effects, then tap on the plus icon to add effects to your drum beat. Or tap on a BandLab FX preset. To add your patterns to your song, tap on the X icon. Tap on a pattern and tap on the delete icon to delete the pattern. Move the track position marker to the position where you want the new pattern to start. Then tap on the track and tap on the pattern icon. Then tap on a pattern on the pop-up menu. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.